Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks, and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are gonna do the Melt palette, the Amor y Mariposas, uh, which I think it means uh, love and butterflies. This is an amazing palette. I have the swatches in here. And this is the look that I did and I really like it. And I did a 14 uh, shadows color story. So if you want to see this look and the colors that I picked, Please keep watching. Hi guys, so in today's video we are gonna try to do the new palette by Melt. It's called Amor y Mariposas. <laughs> uh, I think it means uh, love and butterflies. So it's just a gorgeous palette. I didn't try Melt yet, but I really want to try it. But this palette is a bit too big for my liking. And we are gonna try to downsize a bit. Maybe do a 12 color story. And yeah, I really think this palette is just gorgeous. It's the holiday palette for this year. M Melt has these color stories and these ideas that are amazing and I really like them. I didn't try the, their formula, so I'm curious about that. But maybe in 2022 we are gonna test something. But yeah, for the moment I really want to dupe this and do a look and yeah. So we are gonna do that. So I think we are gonna do a 12 pen palette. So the first row will be green, then maybe yellow and red, and then brown, purple, something like that. But let's start with something and we are gonna see. So for the first row, we have only greens. I have this ColourPop uh, Mint For You Super Shock Shadow. I want to include that. I want to put a more pastel -y shade in there because the second shade it's like a pastel, so I think we are gonna use the Dreamer from here. And then I want um, darker green. So, so let's let's swatch this first. Okay, so first shade down, let's put the Dreamer as well. Alright, then I think I want a dark green matte and a dark green uh, shimmer. So, let's see. This green from Melchior, it's a really beautiful green, but it's not that dark. We can use this matte. It will be amazing. And maybe this green shimmer as well. Okay, so final decision. I'm gonna use the green from the Club Nebula. It's called Queen of Blades. And this is just great with, uh, with pastels. And then the last green will be this one, it's very dark and yummy, so. so this is the green row. Then for the second row, I want some yellows and some golds and a bronze. So, Natasha Dinona, let's start with a matte, actually. Okay, so for the matte, I'll use this yellow in here. And this one is from the Juvia Warrior 3 palette. I don't think it's the perfect yellow for this palette, but it's fine. Uh, let's use the shimmer from here as well. This is the Melchior shade Festive Gold. And this is one of my favorites. And I think this is the perfect inner corner highlight. I'm gonna take the bronze from the Be Perfect Carnival 3. This is called Rum very yummy bronze and then I think actually I will use the shade sand from here it's a more orangey neutral shade but it I think it will add something to this palette so that's the second row so the first one I'm gonna use the red giant from Club Nebula this is a very dark maroon and actually I think it's a bit similar to the one in the Melt palette. Then I'm gonna use the Nebula shade as well from Kaleidos because this is a more orange and it's a topper, but I think it's perfect in here. And then for my last two colors, I think we are gonna use Blackberry from here. And then for the red, maybe Blaze. And that should be it. So Blaze. It's a very poppy red. And then blackberry. 
So this is the color story right now. I think it something something is missing and I can't uh, put my finger on it. But for sure we have enough greens. We have mints and pastel shades and more darker shades. So I'm okay with that. We have some yellowy tones, so that's enough. But then I think we have too little of the red purpley shades. So can I do a 14 color story? Of course I can, <laughs> because it's mine. I think I'm gonna add a brown and then a shimmer shade. Yeah, great plan. So what brown? Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I will pick this brown because it's a cream to powder and it's really yummy and dark. And let's put it in here. Is that working? Not really. <laughs> it's too, too on the neutral side. I want something on the more pink side, I think, or I don't know. So we are wiping this color off. Okay, so I think we are gonna add the blackberry shade from the Nabla palette and this should be perfect. It's a more maroony shade with some plum in it, but yeah, I think this one is the perfect shade. I'll put this red from the Natasha Denona because it's just beautiful. So this is my color story. I think it's it's a similar idea and it's just 14 shades. So I think that's great. And yeah, so let's do the look. Okay, I'm priming the eyes right now. I will list down below everything that I have on my face. I have the colors in here and I always swatch them very weird, but it's fine. I use the Natasha Denona shadow base and I think it's so fun to dupe something because we can buy everything that it's it's beautiful. We can appreciate from afar and that's great, but we can try to dupe it with our own collection as well. Okay, so swatches in here. I think we are gonna do green on the lower lash and on the lid, I think we need to use some of these yellows, reds, I don't know if I'm gonna use the purple, but in the palette, it's just one as well. So, so yeah, the real question now is, do I remember <laughs> all these shades? <laughs> but we are gonna start with this neutral shade and that one is from the Carnival Tree and it's the shade Sand. And I will blend that one into the crease with a fluffy brush like this. Okay, with a smaller brush, I'm gonna take the shade Blaze, which is the beautiful red. And I'm gonna put just a bit in here because I want to use the other red, this one, the more maroonish shade. Then with the same brush, I will add the shade Red Giant from the um, Kaleidos palette. Just a bit in here. And I just took the excess off and I'm blending a bit the edges very lightly. Okay, so something like this. I think it's very beautiful. And let's see what shimmer I want to use. So we are gonna do this from the Natasha Denona shade on the lid in here, but on the exterior. And then we are gonna use this, which is a topper. And I'm gonna put it in the more inner part of the lid. And then we are gonna add this yellow. We're gonna use that in the inner corner. And yeah, I'm gonna use the flat brush like this one. And I will spray all the shades, starting with the dark red. And I'm just dragging a bit in here to have a base for the other orangey red shade. And I'm using the same brush and this shade is called Nebula. And I'm putting it right here. Now with the pencil brush, I'm taking this uh, festive gold shade. And I'm just putting it in the inner corner. And this will go very, very well with the green as well. A bit under the brow. Let's move on to the lower lash. I'm using the uh, Dreamer shade from the BH palette. And this is an ABH brush. And I will put this on the lower lash. 
Okay, so something like this. And then we are gonna add a bit of Queen of Blades and just put that very close to the lashes. And then with the small brush that we added the yellow, I'm gonna add this in for you shade and I'll put that in the um, inner part of the lower lash. I'm spraying this as well, just right here. Okay, so I will put this LA Girl pencil is the shade Fresh on the lower lash and this black pencil from Inglot and then the Rare Beauty Mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I zoom you out a bit and this is the final look. I really like it. It's very beautiful, uh, colorful and can you recreate this with the Melt Palette? I think you can. So I, I really like it and I think it's very fun to recreate a palette or I mean to dupe it and yeah. So if you like the video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.